Welcome back people from Mini Station, John over here. I'm going to give you a preview of what I think our game against Men's City is going to be. My lineup and what I expect us to do. I saw a lot of people probably thinking maybe I was negative. <laughs> the last game against, um, against Liverpool, but let's go for this video. Let's start already with the lineup. I think we're going with 3-4-3. Three, three. I'm going to kind of give what I think we're going to do, plus what I think Arteta is going to do, plus what I would do on the attack. On the back line, I think Arteta is going to do this that I'm going to say right now, and I would do it as well. Goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez, I think he's been great. I don't think nobody would put Macy, let's be honest here. Let's go for the center backs, right? Because that's a waste of time. Martinez starts for me. For the right center back, I go with Mustafi. I don't think he played this uh, the last game against Liverpool because of this game, mainly. So I go with Mustafi as well. As Ceballos did not start the game against Liverpool. It might have been just something tactical because we played against a team that was going to attack us, which is why we maybe started Lucas Torreira. But uh, I go with Mustafi on the right side. On the middle, I go with David Luiz. I think he, as I said before, as I say many times, I don't think he's as bad as people think. I think you got to give credit to him for the last game. Defensively, I said, our team was good. I said last game. That was the only positive I took from last game. So David Luiz, I give him credit. I don't think he's that bad. Of course, he has his mistakes as well. The problem with David Luiz is inconsistency, which is why I would not keep him at the club. But I don't think... He's the worst defender. When he has good games, I say he has good games. When he has bad games, I say he has bad games. I honestly see as it is, I don't think he's a crap player. I think he's a no right center back. Left center back, I'm gonna go with Rob Holding. Last game against Liverpool, of course we put Rob Holding on the right side, but that's because Mustafi was not playing. If we put Mustafi on the left side, we are probably gonna be screwed. Uh, not that it's a big deal, but honestly, you gotta give all the comfort to Mustafi because if you don't, if you do, it's already, it's already a risk. And if you don't, my friend, I don't want to say a bad word, but you're fucked. <laughs> Basically that. So I go with Rob Holding on the left. He's comfortable playing either uh, right side, left side. I don't think it's a big, huge deal playing uh, a right a right foot center back on the left side. I honestly don't. So for me, Holding can easily play there. And I go with Holding there. Left wing back, I go with Kieran Tierney. I don't got no problems with that at all. Going forward, I think he can be a threat. Counter attacks, I expect us to hurt the opponent. Their defense is not that great, their fullbacks is not that great. They're probably gonna play a 4-3-3. Defensively, they're a worse team than Liverpool. So I expect us to at least hurt them on the counter attack. As I say before, I don't expect us to go 50-50 against a team like City, against a team like Liverpool. What for? They beat Liverpool 3-0. And their whole plan was not only stay on the back and try to sustain, because their defense is not that great, just like it's ours but try to have a plan going forward as well, try to hurt the opponent. Liverpool have a better defense than Man City. And Man City have weak points, the fullbacks are not that great, and the center backs are not that great, except for Laporte. I actually think Laporte is very, very good. And Eric Garcia, I think he's decent as well. Their goalkeeper, I don't rate him that much. But I go with Kieran Tierney, I think he can give us a whole balance. And on the right side, another guy I think that is gonna give us a whole balance, it's gonna be Ainsley Milanios going forward. And defensively, I think he's a player with high intensity, high energy, who can overlap Pepe. I already give a spoiler of who I'm gonna put on the right wing. Of course, it's a 3-4-3, uh, three, three, which I think Arteta is gonna put. So I put Ezra Milanios, I don't put Hector Bellerin. If I put Hector Bellerin, I think he's gonna get absolutely mud against um, the likes of Sterling. They're gonna come probably with Mars as well. They might come with Bernardo Silva. Of course, they got Kevin De Bruyne in the middle. Aguero's not going to play this game, but Gabriel Jesus is a very, very, very dangerous player. So we gotta be careful with that. Midfield, I go with Shaka and Ceballos. I would consider Torreira as well. I don't think it would be a big deal if he, if Arteta started Torreira over Ceballos or Ceballos over Torreira, but I would go with Shaka and Ceballos. I think he's gonna do that, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna pick that as well. Now the trio, what I think is gonna be different. I'm not gonna put Aubameyang here because Aubameyang. Let me explain. For me, I would basically do what we did against um, Liverpool, which in my opinion did not work. Uh, I would put Pepe on the right wing. So I already gave a spoiler. On the middle, I will pull Alexander Lacazette. Left wing, I go with Bukayo Saka. The reason why I'm not putting on bombing is because I think he's gonna be that player who's gonna ghost on this game. On games like this, where we don't keep the ball, it's kind of like Azu. I don't see him doing anything. So it's not a player I would consider. Tracking back is not the greatest, although he's tracking back more uh, since our Tetris game. But for me, it's not, in my opinion, I would not do it. He's probably going to start on the left wing. In terms of playing wise, just playing general play, I don't think a bombing is the greatest. His dribbling is not good, his passing is not good, crossing is not good. When you play left wing, you're not just supposed to score goals but having an impact on the overall game. 
and that's what I expect from Aubameyang. I don't care if he's playing it still as an inside forward. I still expect him to have impact on the game. Not only just that. If he's playing as an inside forward, just put Aubameyang on the center and he's still going to score the same goals for you. And then with Lacazette, you can put a creative player on Bukayo Saka on the left wing. That's what I would just do. So Aubameyang on the center, Saka on the left, Pepe on the right. But not for this game. As I said before, Lacazette on the middle, Saka on the left, Pepe on the right side. Our plan? Counterattacks, creative plays, we gotta be quick, high intensity, and sitting back as well because City is going to attack us. So that's gonna be pretty tough. I don't know why I activated Siri for some reason over here. But yeah, if I'm supposed to give um, what the score is gonna be, well, I honestly think it's gonna be this kind of the same thing against Liverpool. I don't think we're going to do what I just said. Counterattacks, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. With Mikel Arteta, I just don't see us hurting the opponent. I don't see us hurting uh, small opponents. So I cannot see us hurting Manchester City. I think City, I don't want to be negative, but I think City is going to beat, beat us 3-0. In my opinion, because Aubameyang is going to play. Lacazette is probably going to play as well. Pepe on the right side. I don't want to sound like I'm being negative over here. But honestly, this is just what I think. But people, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much, Gunnar Station here.